Gets me every time, does that? This is Queen of the Stone Age, no one knows, but we're looking at a capo friendly version because you might have looked at it and thought, blow my neck, I'm not down tuning my guitar today because I can't be bothered. So, this is a great way to look at it and sounds fantastic on the acoustic guitar. Queen of the Stone Age are playing in my hometown next week, which I'm extremely excited. So, I've got a handful of lessons here that we're going to look at some player friendly versions of some Queens of the Stone Age songs. So, before we dive in, can I just remind you if you can, something's flying my way. Oh, yeah. If you want, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's organically growing and it's getting there. And I just want to say thank you so far to everyone who's subscribing. <laughs> Sorry, Charlotte, put you off there. There we go. Thank you very much. Right, so, Quint of the Stone Age, no one knows. Let's dive right in. Okay, everyone, as I said, cap on the third fret. I'm going to walk you through some of the chords. We've got an A minor. We're going to be playing an E7. But there's also this sneaky G sharp 7, but... There's a way around that, so please stick with the video. As ever, I've got supporting tabs over on my Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash richardguitar123. Link below if you want to support the channel. I'd be very much uh, warmed by your hearts. Thank you. <laughs> it is a bit warm, so I'm struggling with words today. Now, what we're going to do, okay, is we have this really, really cool... So the thing here, that the signature thing is this little finger to get that really, really catchy hook on your A minor. Hope that makes sense. The little finger is positioned here on the B string here on the third fret, okay? Now, that's going to be your intro. And then there's this really cool... If you get this really sort of semi-tone bend, it's a little tricky with a little finger, but it's good for strength, okay? Now, when it gets into the verse, it's a fairly straightforward rhythm. It's quite staccato. Then you got that and this, these and those. Now, it goes to E7 to G sharp 7. Now if you're thinking balls to that, what you can do is throw in this G sharp bass over an E7 so there's a bit of compensation going on. We get some rules to follow. That and this, these and those. So you could go. does work. Ideally, take it to here, but if you're not a fan of the bar chord, then compensate with this. Okay, I do have a sheet, sheet below, link below, send me a message. Let me know what you're MVT. Now, what we're going to do, okay, is that goes through the verses. Now then there's the bridgey part that goes in our realization. So the rhythm's opening up a bit. You can get aggressive with it. Then back into verse. And you want to settle that back down, and it's so great on the track how it does that. Again, yes, capo 3A minor, it's actually in the key of C minor, and all the strings are tuned down, I believe, by two whole tones. That's where your guitar strings become like elastic bands, but you get this amazing Queens of the Stone Age sound. That's why a lot of their songs has that sort of sort of dingy space rocky sound because the strings are so slack and it creates that incredible low tone but this is a way around it okay now that is the bulk of the song of course there's a crazy guitar solo in the middle and there's some really more intricate parts but to get around the song from a chord point of view this is what i would suggest doing now there is if you wanted it that part before it does that incredible breakdown <laughs> bit now I'm doing that between a minor and the e7 but then with the G sharp over the e7 and I'm really trying to replicate the rhythm of what the band's doing in that in that uh, in that middle section 
And then here on the third fret, third fret relation to the capo on the high, low E string. Now I'm just trying to give you ideas here. You know, it's not, as I keep saying, it's not an easy song, but if you can take something away from this and go and mess A minor, E7, and then this G sharp seven, or the G sharp over the E7, which I think sounds really great anyway. It's got this sort of, um, in, well, maybe not inviting, but sort of a questionable sound. It's really, really cool, but, you know, they're one of my favorite bands. I, I just think they're amazing. Now, to give you an insight, and then I'm gonna go away and uh, have a nice cold glass of ginger beer. Sheet below, send me a link. Hopefully you want to subscribe to this channel and check out my other videos. And if there's any problems or you want to hear a song on my channel that I've not taught yet, please hit a comment below.